Hello dear students, welcome to this class of BA part 1st General English and today dear students we will discuss a beautiful poem, a very inspiring poem by Sujata Bhatt and the title of this poem is Voice of the Unwanted Girl. Dear students, this poem it has been taken from Sujata Bhatt's Agotra published in 2000 by Karakant Press, Manchester and as you all know, Sujata Bhatt, born in Ahmedabad, a graduate of the Writers Workshop University of Iowa, she has been called one of the finest poets who is alive today. This particular poem, Dear Students, The Voice of the Unwanted Girl, as the title suggests, it is the articulation of a victim girl child who questions the inhumanity and horror of female infanticide. That is how a girl child is killed in the womb and how she is aborted and she is not, uh, we can say, allowed to come to this world and enjoy the beauty of this world. The poem is taken from the anthology My Mother's Way of Wearing a Sari. This particular poem, it is taken from the anthology My Mother's Way of Wearing a Sari, written with a very sensitive and social concern, critiques patriarchy and demands for a world in which gender discrimination are erased. So, we can say that Sujata Bhatt in this particular poem, she has tried to point out the discriminations, the gender discriminations and how a female, a girl, a girl child in particularly face the consequences of uh, male dominance and not allowed to come to this world, how she is aborted. So let us start the poem, a very beautiful and inspiring poem, The Voice, voice of the Unwanted Girl by Sujata Bhatt. I request you to open your textbook so we can uh, decipher the meaning of this beautiful poem line by line. So let us start. Mother, I am the one you sent away. When the doctor told you I would be a girl. So straight away the narrator is the aborted girl and she questions to her mother. Mother, I am the one you sent away when the doctor told you I would be a girl, that I would be a girl as the doctor after uh, ultrasonic or ultrasound uh, detections informed you that the baby in your womb is a baby girl. I am that girl. In the end, they had to give me an injection to kill me. And when they received your consent that if it is a baby girl, it should be aborted. So they gave me an injection to kill me. So look at the use of the word. They gave me an injection to kill me. Before I died, I heard the traffic rushing outside, the monsoon slush, the wind sucking through your beloved Mumbai. I could have clutched the neon blue on the wanted. No one wanted to touch me, except later in the autopsy room, when they knew my mouth, my mouth would not search for anything. So, the girl, the girl child who has been aborted, she says, before I died, I heard the traffic rushing outside, that is the world outside. I could hear that hustle and bustle outside 
the monsoon slush the rainfall the wind sucking through your beloved mumbai so now we come to know that this particular incident this poem is set in the city of mumbai the city of mumbai where the girl was aborted and the family lived i could have clutched the neon blue no one wanted she says that i would have clutched i would have snatched the neon blue that no one wanted no one wanted to touch me this when i was aborted no one wanted to touch me no one admired me no one cared for me except later in the autopsy room now she describes an incident they she describes that what happened in the autopsy room when they knew my mouth would be my mouth would not search for anything and my head could be measured and bent up, cut apart so this is the cruel incident the cruel happening of the autopsy room where she says that now i know that my head would be cut apart and it would be pulled i looked like a sliced pomegranate now she compares sujatha but she has used a beautiful simile to describe this horrible scene and she says that when my head was put apart it was uh, measured and it was cut apart it looked like a pomegranate pomegranate you know dear students is when it is put apart all the reddish ingredients of the pomegranate they open before us so the skull the head was cut apart and it looked like a pomegranate the fruit you never touched and the girl she questions the mother dear mother the same fruit you never touched mother i am the one you sent away she says that my dear mother i am the girl you sent away when the doctor told you i would be a girl when the doctor informed you that i would be a girl you consented to abort and the fetus was aborted i am the same girl you aborted your second girl now we we'll come to know that this girl child is the second girl child of the same parents means that the parents they only want a boy and this is the second time the mother has given her consent to abort the girl child so it presents a very horrible picture of the indian society how people and especially mothers they want only boy baby and not a girl child afterwards as soon as you could you put on your grass green sari now she says that i remember that you put your grass green sari the orange stems of the parijatak blossoms glistened in your hair and your hair it has the flower of parijat everyone smiled afterwards everyone smiled when you gave your consent to abort me everyone everyone means the male members of the family they all smiled that you have ultimately given your consent to abort the girl child but now i ask you now i ask you to so the girl she puts the question to her mother my dear mother now i ask you why have you given your consent and why you have aborted me so the girl now questions now i ask you to look for me mother look for me because i won't come to you in your dreams so says my dear mother now as you have aborted me now i will not come in your dreams any more because a baby in its womb is a it it is 
he moves into the womb and the mother can feel the beautiful pains and the beautiful movement of the baby inside her womb i won't come to you in your dreams look for me mother look because i won't become a flower now she says that now i will not become a flower i that is i will not bloom as you have aborted me in the fetus i will not bloom i will not come alive to this beautiful world and my dear mother i think you are responsible for me because i won't become a flower i won't turn into a butterfly i will not fly like a butterfly but had you not aborted me i would have become a beautiful child i would have become a beautiful part of this nature a beautiful flower a beautiful fly to flutter by and i am not a part of anyone's song mother now i will not be admired in every in any song in any function in any festivity and i will not be there to enjoy this life look mother look for the place where you have sent me another question a very pointing question mother look for the place where you have sent me look for the unspeakable unspeakable is here used to emphasize how bad something is and how much it upsets someone it says the girl child says that mother i cannot speak it is unspeakable for me for the place that can never be described you have sent me to such a hell such a place which can never be described look for me mother because this is what you have done mother look this is what you have done i cannot even describe the place where you have put me where you have sent me look for me mother because this is not god's will and ultimately the child says that mother this is not god's will god's will was that i will be a girl child and i will enjoy the beauty of this world and enjoy the beautiful nature but my dear mother you have consented to abort me and now it was not the god's will it was your will because you never wanted me to come to this world it was your will look for me mother because i smell of formaldehyde i smell of formaldehyde and still i wish you would look for me mother now the girl child says that mother look where i am lying i am lying in formaldehyde dear students formaldehyde is a gas with no color and a strong smell used and mixed with water to preserve things in a laboratory so where have they placed the girl child they have placed the girl child in form in formaldehyde to preserve that fetus for further studies for further analysis this is the condition my dear mother you have made to leave me you have with your consent for abortion this is where i have landed this is my plight and my dear mother it is not the god's will it is your will you consented to you consented for the abortion and look where i am right now i cannot even describe the place it is unspeakable otherwise i would have become a beautiful flower i would have become a beautiful butterfly flutter by and now you have put an end to all these things my mother why the ultimate question dear students is why the girl child questions her mother 
why did you consent to abort me so with this we come to end of this beautiful poem a very pointing questioning poem by sujata bhat in which she has presented the harsh reality of the indian society and how in india girl child are being aborted and the only child the family wants is a boy so sujata bhat she raises many questions through the voice of the unwanted girl dear students i hope you have understood the poem thank you very much